click on the first game to play. Great! Let's give it a try. Okay. <laughs> wow! What just happened? Blaze, AJ, you're in the game! Wow! Sparkle's right! We're inside the arcade game! <laughs> yeah! There's the crown! And there's the king's castle! Remember, to win the game, we need to bring the crown to the king! And we better do it fast, because he wants the crown too! Gaskets! It's a giant troll! Me want crown! Let's get out of here! Uh-oh! The troll is catching up! We need a speed boost to outrun him! Hey, I bet one of those could give us a speed boost. They're 3D shapes. Yeah! 3D shapes are shapes that have three dimensions. The length, how long it is from front to back. The width, how long it is from side to side. And the height, how tall it is from top to bottom. There are lots of 3D shapes. To get a speed boost, we need the 3D shape that has squares on all sides. We need a cube. Let's do it. Quick, help us find a cube. Which of these shapes has squares on all sides? The yellow one. Yeah, it's a cube. Want crown? Here you go, Your Majesty. Congratulations, brave heroes! You've brought me my crown and won the game. <laughs> you did it! You won! And look, now we're getting tickets. Let's add them up and see how many we've got. We had 10 tickets, and now we've got 20 more. 10 plus 20 equals 30. We've got 30 tickets. To win the glitter rocket, we need 100. Do we have enough? No, not yet. That's OK. We just have to win some more video games. Yeah! We're Video Game Heroes! Ooh! Check out that game! It's got outer space and unicorns! Yeah! It's the game Space Unicorn! Click on the next game to play it! Awesome! Whoa! That looks really fun! Go on, Sparkle. Give it a try. Okay, here goes. <laughs> it worked. I'm inside the game. Huh. I wonder where all the unicorns went. Hey! To rescue us, jump on the right 3D shapes. But jump on the wrong shape, and it's game over. Hey. To save me, find the shapes that look like this. A cone! When you see a cone, say cone! You saved me, Sparkle! Help! <gasps> Look! Another unicorn! To rescue me, bounce on 3D shapes that look like this. A hemisphere! When you see a hemisphere, say hemisphere. Thank you, Sparkle. 
Now there's only one unicorn left to rescue! To save me, find the 3D shapes that have triangles on all their sides! A tetrahedron! When you see a tetrahedron, shout, tetrahedron! 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 Hey! Congratulations, Sparkle! You saved us! And won the And look, for winning the Space Unicorn game, you got 30 tickets! Whoa! Check it out! We had 30 tickets, and now we've got 30 more. 30 plus 30 equals 60. That's a lot of tickets! To win the Glitter Rocket, we need 100 tickets. Do we have enough? No, not quite. Don't worry, team. We just need to win one more game. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's get playing! Video Game Heroes! Ooh, I've never seen this game before. Well, come on. Let's give it a try. Click on the last game to play it. <laughs> We look like jet planes! Gaskets! It's a giant dinosaur pig! It's a pigosaurus! Oink, 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 oink! To win the game, we've got to stop that grumpy pigosaurus from destroying the city! Hmm, if only we knew what a Pigasaurus likes to eat. I bet that could make her happy. Ooh, I know how we can figure out what she likes. Look, there's a 3D shape over Pigasaurus's head. It's a sphere. Yeah, that means Pigasaurus is hungry for something shaped like a sphere. Help me find a food that's shaped like a sphere. Which food is shaped like a sphere? The banana? The strawberry or the orange? The orange! Yeah! Oranges away! It's working! Pigasaurus likes the oranges! And look! One of the hearts on her tummy turned green! That means she's starting to feel full! But now Pegasaurus is hungry for a new 3D shape! A cylinder! Oink. Oink. Whoa! Help us find a cylinder-shaped food to feed Pegasaurus! Which food is shaped like a cylinder? The burrito, the donut, or the pizza? The burrito! Right! Burrito! Blast! Look! Another heart on Pigasaurus turned green! We just need to feed her one more kind of food and she'll be full! Yeah! A food shaped like a triangular prism! Quick, let's find a food shaped like a triangular prism. Which food is shaped like a triangular prism? The pretzel, the cookie, or the cheese? The cheese, yeah! Look! All three hearts turned green! 
Chris's boat! We won the game! Great teamwork, everyone! And look, for winning the game, we earned 40 tickets! That's the most tickets yet! Check it out! We had 60 tickets, and now we earned 40 more! 60 plus 40 equals 100! Do we have enough tickets to get the glitter rocket? Yeah! <gasps> we did it! We won a glitter rocket! Oh, thank you, Blazin' AJ! Aw, oh, you're welcome. Go on, Sparkle, try it! Sparkle, follow that rocket! Oh, Yeah, how will I ever get it home if I can't see anything? <laughs> Help! Poor King! We have to save him! But how? Let's turn Blaze and AJ into knights so they can help the King. I'll be Sir Blaze! And I'll be Sir AJ! Now let's go save the King! Charge! <laughs> Look, Sir Blaze, a sign! It says we're entering the land of Bighorn Barbarians! I sure hope we don't run into any of them! <laughs> and I sure hope they don't run into any of us! <laughs> Barbarians are smashing everything! Then to get past them, we need something even a bighorn can't smash. We need metal! Yeah! Check it out! Metal things are really strong. They have tiny particles inside that stick together super tight, so that even when something bangs into them really hard, the particles stay together and the metal doesn't break. Zeke, Zeke! Hey, look! Zeke found something metal! A metal shield! Way to go, Zeke! <laughs> this way, knights! <laughs> Be careful, Sir Blaze! That sounds like more bighorns! <laughs> Where are the bighorns hiding? Yeah! Behind the logs! <laughs> made it past the Bighorn Barbarians! <laughs> and it sounds like the last of them are hiding somewhere over there! Now where are those big horns hiding? <laughs> yes! Behind those crates! <laughs> Metal Shield! <laughs> <laughs> Stop the Bighorn Barbarians! Zeke, zeke, zeke! Now come on, knights! Let's go rescue the king! Yeah! <laughs> Look, up ahead! It's a drawbridge! Oh no! It's closing! Whoa! Now there's no way to get across the river! Zeke! Zeke! But look, Zeke knows what to do. If we put keys in these keyholes, it'll unlock the drawbridge and make it come down again. Zeke, Zeke! The 
That's great! But getting the keys isn't going to be easy. Look! They're being guarded by sleeping bighorn barbarians! Zeke, Zeke! Don't worry, Zeke. I know how we can get those keys. We'll use a magnet! Yeah! The keys are made out of metal. And remember, metal has all those particles inside. When you use a magnet, its magnetic field pulls on some of those particles. So, if we have a strong enough magnet, it will pull the keys from the bighorns. Let's build the parts and turn me into the most powerful magnet there is, an electromagnet. First, drag over the generator for electricity so we can power our magnet. Generator! Amazing! Now, drag over the iron bar. That will be the core of our magnet and make the magnetic field stronger. Iron bar! Fantastic! Last, drag over the wire. It wraps around the iron bar to turn the electric power into magnetic power. Wire! Awesome! Alright! I'm an electromagnet monster machine! Yeah! Now let's get those metal keys! Electromagnet magnetize! Alright! Help AJ aim the electromagnet to grab the first key. Should he aim to the left or to the right? Left! Yeah! We got the first key! Look, Zeke! The bridge is starting to come down! Now let's get the second key from that bighorn up there! Electromagnet! Magnetize! To get this key, should we aim higher or lower? Higher! Great! That's right, Zeke. Just one more key and the bridge will be all the way down. Electromagnet magnetized. To get this last key, should AJ aim to the left or to the right? <laughs> yeah, to the right. Nice job. Zeke, and I'll drive us across the drawbridge. Uh-oh, and we better hurry. Look, the big horns are starting to wake up. Then we've got to get across this drawbridge super fast. Time for blazing speed. To give us blazing speed, say, let's blaze. Let's blaze. Too, Zeke, it sounds like the king! No, oh dear, I still can't see with this crown covering my eyes. <coughs> Poor king, he's still bumping into trees <coughs> and logs and whoa, whoa, a big trap! Zeke, Zeke! Who would want to catch the king in a trap? I think I know who. <laughs> it's the Bighorn Barbarians! Uh-oh! And look what they've got now! A cannon! <laughs> Whoa! Zeke, Zeke! Don't worry, Zeke. We'll find a way to get past that cannon. We just need a plan. Yeah! Let's think. Cannons shoot out cannonballs made of metal, and the particles of metal stick together so tight, it's almost impossible to break. But if we heat up the metal, the particles will move farther and farther apart until the metal melts. If only we had something super hot that could melt those metal cannonballs. Zeke! 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 That's 
That's right! Zeke! Do you think you can melt those cannonballs with your fire? Zeke! <laughs> All right! You're one brave little dragon, Zeke! Now hop on! We've got a king to save! <laughs> More cannonballs headed this way! Let's count them! One, two, three, four! Four cannonballs! Now let's tell Zeke to melt them! Say, Blast Four, Zeke! Blast Four, Zeke! <laughs> and look! We're almost at the king! <laughs> Whoa! But here come the most cannonballs yet! Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six! Say, blast six, Zeke! Blast, blast six, six, Zeke! <laughs> Nothing can stop us from saving the king! <laughs> Huzzah! I'm free! Oh, if only I could see who rescued me. See? <laughs> oh, you really are the best dragon a king could ever ask for. <laughs> oh, and of course. I owe a great thanks to you, Blazin AJ. I hereby declare you the bravest knights in all the land. <laughs> now, as for you, Bighorn Barbarians, you have been most naughty today. I think you owe us an apology. <laughs> apology accepted. <laughs> And now that we're all friends, I proclaim it's party time! Yes! To save Crusher and Pickle, we've got to find some way to get past these bumping bighorns. But this ice is super slippery. How are we going to steer past them? Hey, I know. To get past the bighorns, we're going to need more friction. Yeah. Friction is a force that happens when two things rub together. Blaze's skis and the ice are both really smooth so they slide over each other really easily. There's not much friction. But what if instead of skis, we had a snowcat? Snowcats have tracks that are rough and bumpy, so when they move over the smooth ice, it's harder to slip and slide. There's more friction. Yeah! Come on, let's make the parts to turn me into a snowcat. First, drag over the tracks. They create friction on the ice. Awesome! Crash! Next, drag over the sprockets. They make the tracks turn. Sprocket! Oh, yeah! I'm a snowcat! Because we've got... Friction! Help us look out for bighorns so I can steer past them. If you see a bighorn, say bighorn. Bighorn! Just one 
bighorn left. Help us keep a lookout for him. When you see the last bighorn, shout bighorn. To save Crusher and Pickle, we're going to need a boat that can get us to the other side fast. Yeah, but water can have choppy waves that slow boats down. There's too much friction, so we need a hovercraft. Hovercrafts glide on air above the water. The air is smooth, so there's less friction, and the hovercrafts can move really fast. Come on, let's get building. First, drag over the skirt. It lifts the hovercraft above the water. Skirt! Now, drag over the fan. It makes the hovercraft move forward really fast. Fan! Oh, right! I'm a hovercraft! We gotta use our hovercraft to find those baby penguins and save them. We're coming, penguins! Listen, that sounds like a baby penguin. Help us figure out how to steer our hovercraft so we can save them. The first baby penguin is here. To rescue him, should we go up, left, up? Yeah, let's do it! Woohoo! <laughs> All right, we got you, penguin! <gasps> that sounds like another baby penguin! This penguin is way over here. To get to her, should we go left, up, left? Yeah, that's the way! Oh, yeah! Way to go, Hovercraft Blaze! Now there's just one baby penguin left! I hear her! To save this last penguin, should we go right, down, right? No, let's try a different way. What if we go like this? Right, up, right. Will that get us to the penguin? Yeah! Penguins, over there! It's your parents! The penguins are so happy to be back together again! Now come on, AJ! Let's get moving! Yeah, we've got to save Crusher and Pickle! Snow Rescue, go! <gasps> It's Crusher and Pickle! Help! They're getting carried off into those super tall mountains! Then to save them, we need a vehicle that can fly! We need a snow rescue helicopter! First, drag over the rotor blades. 
they let the helicopter fly and steer through the air. Rotor blade! Now, drag over the rescue rope so we can pull our friends out of danger. Amazing! Rescue rope! Oh yeah! I'm a snow rescue helicopter! Probably right. I mean, it's not like we're about to fall or anything. <laughs> We've got to save Crusher and Pickle before they fall. Then it's time for a helicopter blazing speed. <laughs> to give me blazing speed, say, let's blaze. Let's blaze. show you how it's done. <laughs> Whee! Wait for me! get to the Bouncing Bull racetrack, it looks like first we'll have to get past the Colossal Cliff. Huh, wonder why they call it a Colossal Cliff. Whoa-ho! That's why. Sure is a long way to the other side. Whoa. What in tarnation? Whoa! Check out all those geysers. They're really blasting a lot of steam. Shoo! Wait! How do them geysers do that? Take a look. Switching to visor view. There are pools of hot water deep under the ground. When they heat up to 100 degrees Celsius, the water starts to bubble and changes into steam. That's called boiling. And when the boiling water makes so much steam that it has nowhere to go, kaboom! It blasts up out of the ground! Hey, Starla, I've got an idea. What if we ride the steam that comes out of the geyser? Well, I'll be. I bet one blast could carry us right across that colossal cliff. Come on, let's look underground to see which geyser's gonna blast next. Look carefully. Which pool of water is boiling? 
the middle one. Yeah, the water is boiling and changing to steam. Here I go. Now which pool of water is boiling? Yeah, the left one. That water is also boiling and changing to steam. Hang on! Woo! <laughs> All right! That was awesome! Check it out. We've already crossed a colossal cliff. So to get to the Bouncing Bull racetrack, the next place we have to go through is... The Red Rock Canyon! Well, bust my bumpers! That must be Red Rock Canyon right there! Well, come on, everyone! This way! It's... Skunk Bandits! to block the canyon so the skunks can't follow us. Check it out. This part of the canyon is three meters wide, so we need a rock that's exactly three meters to block the skunks. Find the rock that's three meters. Look for the rock that goes up to the number three on the ruler. Which rock goes up to three? That one. Right, it's exactly three meters. Great work. Canyon is seven meters wide. Which rock goes to the number seven? You got it. It's just the right size. So long, skunk bandits. Bouncing bull racetrack. Here we come. Check it out! We're getting super close to the Bouncing Bull racetrack. All we have left to do is follow the tracks of the Rusty Railroad. This way, fellas! I got you, Starla! Thanks, Blaze! That was close! So what do we do now? If we try to drive from these old train track rails, we'll fall off. Hmm. These rails weren't made for monster machines. To ride on them, we need a steam engine. Yeah! Steam engines are trains that use the power of boiling. They have a firebox inside that heats up a tank of water until it reaches 100 degrees. Then, steam from the boiling water pushes against pistons so the train can drive. Well, shoot we! Let's make a steam engine and ride these rails! First, drag over the firebox. The firebox heats the water. Firebox! Next, drag over the boiler. The boiler holds all the boiling water. Boiler! Great! Now drag over the piston. When the boiling water turns into steam, it pushes the piston to make the train go. Pistons! Oh yeah! I'm a 
a steam engine monster machine! Wow! All aboard! Full steam ahead! Now we're back on track! Starla? Ride up, cowboy! Ready? Set! Ride! <laughs> 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 this fountain full racetrack is one crazy ride! And you said it! It's the wildest track in the Wild West! <laughs> I can't let them win the golden gift! Aha! This ought to make sure they don't get there before me! <laughs> Crusher blocked the tunnel through these mountains. Hey, but look over there. It's another tunnel. But to follow it, we'll need some way to ride on those old train tracks. Hey, I know what we could use to ride on those tracks. A steam engine. Yeah. A steam engine boils water to make steam. And that steam pushes a piston to make the train's wheels turn. Come on! To turn Blaze into a steam engine, first, drag over the special driving wheels to keep Blaze steady on the track. Driving wheels! Nice! Next, drag over the boiling tank. It holds all the boiling hot water. Boiler! Last, drag over the chimney. The chimney pumps out smoke and steam. Chimney! Oh, yeah! I'm a steam engine monster machine! All right! Yeah! Full steam ahead! this cave without getting hit by falling gems. I know. We can keep away from the gems if we predict where they're gonna fall. Yeah! When you predict, you use what you know to make your best guess about what's gonna happen next. Look, more gemstones up ahead. And we know the gems always lean in the direction they're about to fall. Which track do you think they're going to fall on? The yellow track or the blue track? The blue track. Yeah. Quick, take the yellow track instead. Our prediction was right. Yeah. <gasps> Watch out, please. Oh. We have to get past one last pile of gemstones. Let's predict. Which track do you think they're going to fall on? The yellow track, yes!
The golden gift is almost mine! And I bet it's gonna be something so... Oh, good! <laughs> I can't let him win the race! Looks like I'll need one last cheat! Something no one will ever get past! Make... Gargantuan Guards! <laughs> oh, man! If we're gonna get to that golden gift, we gotta find some way past those Gargantuan Guards! Hey, wait! I've got an idea! What if we find something big and heavy that rolls? Yeah! Then we can roll it at those guards and knock them out of the way! Ooh! Say fine big round bowling ball! Say! Good one, Zeg! I wonder if that'll roll! Let's predict! When we push this bowling ball, do you think it'll roll? Okay! Let's see. It's rolling! Yay! <laughs> All right! That bowling ball knocked away the first gargantuan guard! <laughs> but there's still two more blocking the way! Hey! Maybe we can roll this big wooden block at them! Hmm, what do you think? When we push the block, do you think it's gonna roll? Let's find out! Nope, the block doesn't roll. Better look for something else. Uh, hey! What about this giant rock I found? Good idea, Darrington! If we push this rock, do you think it'll roll? All right, let's try it! Now there's only one gargantuan guard left! Hey, yo! I wonder if we can roll this at him! Whoa! That big watermelon! Let's predict! When we push the watermelon, do you think it's gonna roll? Let's find out! It's rolling! So long, gargantuan guards! <laughs> hey, everyone, look! There it is! The golden gift! <gasps> but Crusher's almost there! Golden gift? <laughs> Gonna be... <laughs> Uh-oh! That bad! We can't let Crusher get there first! Then it's time to use blazing speed! <laughs> to give us blazing speed, say, let's blaze! Let's blaze! <laughs> no one can possibly beat me to the golden gift now! Ah, we won the race! Hop in, hubcaps! Look, y'all! Something's happening to the golden gift! <gasps> gift opening! Now we can finally see what's inside! Well, come on! Let's...
Let's open them. Whoa! It's a pogo stick, just like I wanted. And a toy rocket, like I wanted. Shoot! Hey, a brand new lasso! And a trampoline! <laughs> Toy dinosaur! <laughs> a skateboard! A stuffed elephant! An electric guitar! Yeah. Whoa! The Golden Gift had the perfect present for everyone! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be transform into a police car. First, track over the flashing lights and siren. They help everyone know a police car is coming. Next, track over the searchlight. It helps us look for things that are hard to find. Now, drag over the official police badge. Outstanding! Oh, yeah! I'm a police car monster machine! Whoa! Looking good, Blaze. Now let's get out there and start helping people. Yeah! It's time to be police officers. Look! Officer Blaze! Officer AJ! Hey, kids. What's the problem? I'm trying to visit my grandma. Me too. So am I. But we can't figure out where our grandmas live. We're lost. Can you help us? Aw, of course we'll help you. That's what police officers do. But how are you going to find where our grandmas live? There's only one way to figure this out. We'll use deduction. Yeah. Deduction is using the facts we know to get closer and closer to an answer. Are you ready to find your grandma now? Uh-huh. I know my grandma lives somewhere with a green door, orange flowers, and one window. Whoa, good remembering. Come on, let's use those facts to find grandma's building. Which of these buildings has a green door, orange flowers, and one window? That one, right. Oh, Grandma! I'm here! Oh, and you're just in time, too! I made fresh lemonade! Mmm! Delicious! And how about some lemonade for you, officers? Sure! Thank you, ma'am! Mmm! Mm. Now you two keep up the good work! We will! Hop in, Officer AJ! We've got to get moving! Yeah! There's still more police work to do! Police officers, let's ride! And we officers! Yeah! Look, there's our friend Debris, the garbage truck. My puppy Pierre, where are you? He sounds like he really needs our help. What's the matter, Debris? Ah, uh, Officer Blaze, Officer AJ! I'm so worried about my puppy Pierre. I brought him to the park, and I cannot find him anywhere. He is lost. A lost puppy? Oh, no! Don't worry, Debris. We'll find your puppy, Pierre. And it sounds like we're not the only ones ready to help. Look! It's Officer Anna! Reporting for duty. Oh, yeah. All right! I came as quick as I could. Oh, merci. Well, you're just in time, Officer Anna. This lost puppy is our biggest case yet. Hmm. Then we better be on the lookout for clues. Oh, that bark! I know that bark anywhere. That's Pierre. But where could he be? It sounded like it came from over there. Come on, officers. Let's ride! Huh. I wonder where Pierre could have gone. The puppy's not here, but look! 
There's a trail of leaves coming from that leaf pile. You're right, Officer Blaze. He must have gone through that leaf pile and run that way. Follow those leaves! Look! The leaves go right to that mud puddle! That's where Pierre must have gone next! Through the mud! See? Muddy tire tracks! Come on! The muddy tracks lead this way! Aha! A dog park! Pierre the puppy must be one of these dogs! But how are we gonna figure out which dog is Pierre? I know! We'll use deduction! Remember, deduction is using facts to get closer and closer to an answer. Let's think. What facts do we know about Pierre? Here's a fact. We know Pierre went through a pile of leaves. So the dog we're looking for is going to have leaves on it. Good thinking, AJ. Let's count how many of these dogs have leaves on them. Okay, dogs, line up. Count the dogs that have leaves. One, two, three, four, five. Great. So Pierre must be one of these five dogs. What other facts do we know? Hmm. We know that after the leaves, Pierre went through a mud puddle. So the dog we're looking for is going to have muddy tires. Let's count how many of these dogs have muddy tires. Count the muddy dogs with me. One, two, three. That means Pierre must be one of these three dogs. I just wish we knew one more fact about Pierre. Wait, I remember something. His bark. Oh, yeah. We heard Pierre make a barking noise that sounded like this. Listen carefully to hear which dog has the same bark. Which dog sounds like Pierre? That one! Yeah! Great work! Hey there, little puppy. Are you Pierre? Yeah! We found it! Oh, we sure are happy to see you, pup! But not as happy as someone else we know. Pierre! Thanks for playing. Oh, Pierre, I was so worried about you. Oh, thank you, officers. If it weren't for you, I would never have found my puppy, Pierre. And I wouldn't have found my grandma. Mm-hmm, that's true. Let's hear it for Officer Blaze and Officer AJ, heroes of Axo City. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's strange. Every toothbrush in Axel City is being taken away. Look, the toothbrushes are going into that giant rocket ship. Time to become... Special Mission! We're on a mission to retrieve the missing toothbrushes at Axel City that were taken by the toothbrush taker. Awesome. Check it out. These buttons give Special Mission Blaze cool new upgrades. Let's press the green button to try submarine mode. With submarine power, I can travel underwater. Now let's press the purple button to try force shield mode. With a force shield, I can block anything that gets in our way. Last, press the orange button to try laser mode. The laser can give us the power to cut through anything. Nothing can stop us from getting those toothbrushes! There's the Toothbrush Taker's Island! To get to the Toothbrush Taker's Island across the ocean, which mission mode button should we press? The submarine button? The shield button? Or the laser button? 
The submarine button. Right. Special mission, submarine mode. Hey, I've got an idea. Maybe we can find something to float them away. Yeah! We just need to find things that don't have a lot of density. Density is all about the particles inside of things. When something has lots of heavy particles inside, it has more density. But when something has fewer, lighter particles, it has less density. Things that have more density tend to sink. And things that are less dense tend to float. Here, maybe one of these can float the chomper fish away. We've got beach balls and bowling balls. Beach balls have a density of two. And bowling balls have a density of eight. Which number is less, two or eight? Two, right! That means beach balls have less density. Load the beach balls! Let's press this button to launch the beach balls. Beach balls away! Hooray! It worked! The chopper fish is floating away! Come on! These chopper fish can't stop us! Because we know about density! We did it! We got past the chomper fish and made it to the toothbrush shaker's island! And look! There's his secret hideout! Come on, everybody! Let's go get our toothbrushes back! Special, Special mission! mission There it is! The rocket ship with all our toothbrushes inside! Oh, finally! My toothbrush! I'm coming, toothbrush! Usher, wait! There still could be one last... Trap! Gaskets! A giant trap! <laughs> oh, and look! It's... Tooth City 2! <laughs> the toothbrush taker! Well, well, special mission, Blaze. <laughs> I should have known you'd try to stop me. You won't get away with this, toothbrush taker. Oh, but I already have. Rocket ship preparing for blast off. Did he do? It's finally working. Oh, no. We'll never get our toothbrushes back in time. Oh, yes, we will, because that toothbrush taker forgot about one thing. We've still got our special mission modes. To cut through the metal, which button should we press? The submarine button, the shield button, or the laser button? The laser button. Right! <laughs> Rocket ship blasting off. The rocket's taking off with all the toothbrushes! <laughs> the only way to stop it is to press that off button. And fast! Then it's time to use special mission blazing speed! <laughs> to give me blazing speed, say, let's blaze! Let's blaze! <laughs> Rocket ship turning off. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> but toothbrush taker, I don't understand. Why'd you want to get rid of everyone's toothbrushes? Yeah, don't you like brushing your teeth? Actually, the truth is I... I... I don't know how to brush my teeth. <laughs> hey, that's okay. We can teach you how to brush your teeth. Really? Yeah. All you have to do is take your toothbrush, add some toothpaste, and start brushing. Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, my teeth feel so sparkly and clean. <laughs> Rocket ship, return the toothbrushes! Rocket ship, returning toothbrushes. Our friend Commander Megan. She's an astronaut. <gasps> Asteroids! Gaskets! That asteroid hit the ship's thruster. We'll have to go into outer space and rescue her. But how will we do that, Blaze? We'll transform ourselves into monster machine space robots! Let's do it! <laughs> Let's turn the monster machines into space robots. First, drag over the robot body. Roborific! Next, drag over the delta wings to help the space robots with takeoffs and landings. Fantastic! Now, drag over the robot thrusters so the space robots can blast through space really quickly. Robot Blaze. Thanks, Commander Megan. Now hang on. Your space robot friends are on their way. Yeah! Let's count down from three. Which of these is the number three? Good job. Let's start counting. Three, three two, two, one, one stop! <laughs> Check it out. We're here by planet Earth. And to rescue Commander Megan, we need to get to Pluto. Way over here. Hop and hop, cats. Pluto sure is far. You know what we need? A shortcut. That's a wormhole, a tunnel through space time. Sounds like a shortcut to me. Come on, everyone. This way. Uh-oh, but look out behind you. <gasps> Asteroids, headed this way! <laughs> I know what'll stop them. Deploying laser blasters! <laughs> yeah, wait! I didn't know we had lasers! These'll blast those asteroids to bits! And we better hurry! Three of them are almost here! Come on, we need to program our lasers to blast them! Time to get coding! Check it out! This instruction will tell the robots to blast their lasers. And this repeat code will tell them how many times to do it. For three asteroids, we need to do three blasts. Which of these is the number three? Yeah, that's it! So our code is go, laser blast, repeat three times, stop! Laser blast! One, two, three, and stop! Woohoo! Got him! Take that, asteroids! Ah, uh, Blaze, we can use some help over here! We've got seven more asteroids headed this way! Hurry! Let's try to coat to blast seven times! Which of these is the number seven? 
Yeah, that's it! Now we have our code! Go! Laser blast! One! Two! Three! Four! Five! Six! Seven! And stop! Yahoo! <laughs> Looks like we got rid of all the asteroids! That true? Except for those asteroids over there! Wow! <laughs> hop and hop camps! That's a lot of asteroids! You can do it, robots! You just need a code to blast 100 times! 100 times? Come on! We've got to help the robots do 100 blasts! Which of these is the number 100? 100, yeah! We've got the code! Go! Laser blast! 100! 100! Yeah! Oh, <laughs> And now we can help Commander Megan. Come on! Yeah! Yeah! Way to go, space robots! I knew you could do it! We're just glad you're okay, Commander Megan! Now come on, everyone! Let's fix that ship and get Commander Megan back to planet Earth! Yeah! Let's do it! But looks like I'm gonna need some help getting out of these vines. Do not worry, I help. Whoa, who said that? It's me, Megabot. Should Megabot cut the vines with laser power or banana power? Laser power, of course. Cut vines with. To give Blaze a soft landing, should Megabot use rock power or bubble power? Yes, bubble power! Megabot use marble power! <laughs> Blaze is covered in mud! Should Megabot clean him up with water power or nachos power? Definitely water power! Great work! Megabot make clean with water power! <laughs> Thanks, Megabot! You really helped us! My name's AJ, and that's Blaze. Hello! It's nice to meet you, Blaze and AJ! Wow! You can do so many cool things, Megabot! I bet you'd be a big hit at the robot parade. Robot parade? What is robot parade? It's a big celebration. Just for robots like you. Whoa, robot parade look fun. Hey, I've got an idea, Megabot. Why don't you come with us? Yeah, we can take you to the robot parade. Oh, yeah, Megabot wants, Megabot wants to go to Robot Parade! <laughs> All right, follow us, Megabot! To the Robot Parade! Yeah. Woohoo! Blasting out 
It must be a glue geyser. Oh, no! Megabot cannot go to parade if stuck in glue. Don't worry, Megabot. I've got an idea how we can get past that glue geyser. Yeah, we just need to know its diameter. Diameter is the distance across the middle of a circle. And glue geysers are shaped like circles. If we measure their diameter, we can block the geysers so they can't blast any more glue. Come on, let's measure the diameter of that first glue geyser. The hole has a diameter of this number. What number is this? Six, yeah! Now we just need a circle with that same diameter. Woo! Megabot, help! Make circle with diameter six! Whoa! Megabot's cutting a circle with her laser power! I'll take it from here, Megabot! Megabot. Whoa, hang on. That looks like smoke. Gaskets. There are fires up in those trees. Whoa, Megabot, help. Use water power. Oh, but water not go high enough to put out flames. Don't worry, Megabot. Blaze and I can help lift you up higher. Yeah. We just need a turntable ladder truck. To make a turntable ladder truck, first, drag over the tall ladder. Ladder! Nice! Now, drag over the hydraulic piston rod. It makes the ladder move up and down. Piston rod! Great work! Last, drag over the turntable. The turntable lets us spin the ladder in any direction. Turntable! Oh yeah! I'm a turntable ladder truck monster machine! Woo! Wonderful! Hop in, Megabot! Let's put out those fires! Megabot, there's Axel City. We're getting close to the robot parade. Megabot, so excited! <laughs> Come on, Megabot, this way. Gaskets, Crusher, Pickle, and all those robots are stuck on top of those giant pancakes. We've got to help them. But how will we get all the way to the top of that giant stack of pancakes? Oh, Megabot, no. Make friends go high in air with bubble power. We'll help you. Let's count to make a bubble with a diameter of 10. Count to 10 with us. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Megabot, it's time to use blazing speed. To give us blazing speed, say, let's blaze. Let's blaze. <laughs> Which robot's gonna lead the parade? I think Megabot should lead parade! Megabot! 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 Do you hear that, Megabot? All the robots want you to lead the parade! Wow! But Megabot cannot lead parade alone! Why not, Megabot? Because Megabot want to lead parade with Blaze and AJ! Yeah! Let's do it, Megabot! Let Robot Parade begin! Robot Parade! Today is the Deep Sea Grand Prix! We just have to turn me into an underwater vehicle. A submarine! Come on, let's get building. First, we need to drag over the hull. That's the body of the submarine. Great work! Next, we'll need a propeller. Next, drag over the propeller so Blaze can move quickly through the water. Fantastic! Last, we need to drag over the ballast tank so Submarine Blaze can move up and down in the water. Amazing! Woohoo! I'm a submarine monster machine! Wow! Hop in, AJ, and give me some submarine Deep Sea Grand Prix, here we come! Hey, hey, look, it's Blaze! Welcome to the race! Oh, I can't believe he's gonna be in the race, too! Undersea racers, on your marks, get set, go! to stop that guy, and I know the perfect way to do it. I'll cheat! <laughs> Say hello to my trapper fish! <laughs> Blaze can't win the race if he's trapped inside a trapper fish! <laughs> Blaze, watch out! 
There are so many trapper fish! What'll we do, Blaze? Hmm, we need some way to get past them. And I've got an idea. What if we float the trapper fish away? Yeah! When you put something in the water, it either sinks down or floats up. And we know something that always floats up in the water. Air! If something gets filled up with enough air, it'll float up in the water. Then, if a trapper fish traps it, it'll make the trapper fish float away too! Hey, I bet something in this old shipwreck floats! Which do you think will float? The light balloon or the heavy rock? Okay, let's test them and see! The balloon is floating! Yeah! That's because it's full of air! Quick! Here comes the trapper fish! Let's give him the balloon! Oh, right! It worked! He's floating away! Now there's just one trapper fish left! Hmm, I wonder where it could be. Blaze, look! I bet something in here can float that trapper fish away! Which do you think will float this time? The tire tube or the heavy metal spoon? Okay, let's find out. The tube is floating. It must have lots of air inside. Here you go, Trapper Fish! <laughs> we did it! We got past the Trapper Fish! Now let's hurry so we can catch up with the other racers. Yeah! Submarine, go! <laughs> Look out! Yeah. Caps, those look like chomping shark flowers! Oh man, they're everywhere, Blaze! They're growing out of the floor and the ceiling! The only way we're gonna get past those shark flowers is to steer past them. And we can do it with the power of floating! Yeah! Remember, things float when they have enough air inside them. And a submarine has a special part that can fill with air. A ballast tank. Yeah. When air goes into the ballast tank, it pushes the water out. And we float higher. Then, if we want to sink lower, we push the air out again and let the water come back in. Come on. Let's use floating and sinking to steer past those shark flowers. How should we steer to go past these shark flowers? Over or under them? Over, yeah! Adding air to our ballast tank! Yeah. We got past them! Look, there's the end of the tunnel! To make it past these last shark flowers, should we go over or under them? Lights, look! It's Crusher Submarine! And there's the giant sandcastle! That's the finish line to the Deep Sea Grand Prix! If we don't hurry, Crusher's gonna get there first! Oh no, he's not! Because we've got submarine blazing speed! To give us blazing speed, say, let's blaze! Let's blaze! of the Deep Sea Grand Prix is... Submarine Blaze! Whoa! Let's hear it for Submarine Blaze! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Submarine Blaze! Submarine Blaze! Submarine Blaze! Submarine Blaze! Submarine Blaze! Get out of here! 
Scraps, what's making all that noise? Oh, no! Look! Giant toys! And the only way to make them shrink small again is to push the green buttons. See? There's a green button on top of all of the toys. Well, then we've got to catch those giant toys and shrink them down to size. We need to stop those giant toys. What color is the button that makes them smaller again? Right. It's green. <laughs> yeah. That toy train spilled soapy water all over the road. Well, we can't drive through a slippery spill, so to catch that train, we'll have to clean it up. We'll use absorption. Absorption is when something pulls in a liquid like water and holds it inside. Take a look. Things that are good at absorption have lots of spaces in them. When you clean up a spill, the water fills those spaces and stays inside. Which do you think can absorb the water? A pencil or a sponge? Okay, let's put it in water and see. <sighs> nice work! Uh oh, but it just made another big spill. And this time it's super slippery orange juice. Which do you think can absorb the orange juice? A frying pan or a towel? Awesome! Ah! Wow, that's absorbent! We did it! Yeah! Oh no! To press that green button, we're gonna have to get through one last spill. A puddle of super slippery chocolate milk! Which do you think can absorb the chocolate milk? A wrench or napkins? Let's see! Great work! The giant toy train! AJ, give me some speed! <laughs> we pressed the shrink button! And look! The toy train is getting smaller and smaller! Aw, now it's the perfect size to play with! Check it out! There were three giant toys, but we just shrank the train. How many giant toys are left? Two, yeah! The dinosaur and the octopus. Come on, monster machines! Let's find those toys! Yeah! Oh! Look! There goes the dinosaur toy! It's stomping through that junkyard! We've got to hurry and press that shrink button to make it small again. This way! Take it from here! Electric Star! Yahoo! Alright! We did it! We shrunk the dinosaur toy! Aw, you're actually pretty cute now that you're not making a mess! <laughs> <laughs> Take a look! We shrunk the toy train and the toy dinosaur! How many toys are left? Right! Now there's just one giant toy left! The water-squirting octopus! This way, everyone! Let's go find that octopus! Yeah! It's over there! On top of the tallest ride! And it looks like it's about to blast more water! Oh! oh look out! Water drops! Ah! Let's get out of here! Phew! That water blasting octopus is making a huge mess! We've got to find some way to get up there and shrink it! Before we get hit by a giant water drop! Whoa! Whew. I wish there was some way we could absorb those giant water drops! To soak up all the water, we need something absorbent. Should we clean up the mess with a mop? Or a tire? Yeah! The mop is more absorbent. Mops can pull in lots of water. That's why they're so good for cleanup. Look, it blasted out one drop. And here come two more. How many drops are there all together? 
three! Yeah! It's absorption time! One, two, three! Yeah! Way to use those mops! The octopus toy is about to blast even more this time! Two drops, plus one drop, and two more! How many drops are there all together? Five! Yeah! Ready? Set! Absorb! One! Two! Three! Four! Five! Yeah! We did it! Now there's only one thing left to do! Press that green button and shrink that octopus! But we better hurry! It's getting ready to blast the most water yet! Come on, Watts! It's time to use blazing speed! Oh, yeah! To give us blazing speed, say, let's blaze! Let's blaze! <laughs> Little octopus, I think you're the perfect size now. <laughs> Good work, team! We saved Axel City from the giant toys! Yeah! And now that all the toys are the right size, I know just what we should do. What's that, Gabby? Let's play! Absorption! Uh, absorption! Pull, pull a liquid in, hold it inside! Absorption! Like a sponge, like a mop, like a fluffy, fluffy towel, or a real shaggy dog. Filling up tiny pores till that liquid is absorbed. You just gotta squeeze it out so you can make room for more. Absorption, uh, absorption. Pull, pull a liquid in, hold it inside. Absorption, uh, absorption. Pull, pull that liquid Thanks for playing. inside. Absorption. I've got to stop those robots before they wreck the whole city! Come on, everyone! It's time to use robotics! Yeah! Whoa! Robotics step one. Design our robot. I know. Let's give our robot legs so he can run and jump. Drag over the robot legs to start building. Great! Now, let's give our robot a big, powerful body. Now drag over the robot body to continue building. Awesome building! Oh, oh, and what if our robot could have super strong arms? All right! Now we're ready for robotic step two. Build the robot. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's build these robot parts on me. I'll be a robot monster machine! Drag Blaze over to the robot parts to turn him into a robot monster machine. robo -tastic. I'm Robot Blaze! <laughs> okay, even I have to admit that's pretty cool. Hop in, AJ! <laughs> We're ready for robotic step three. Code our robot. Coding means giving instructions to a robot. Let's code Robot Blaze to run and then lift. This symbol will tell Robot Blaze to run. This symbol tells Robot Blaze to lift. And this symbol tells Robot Blaze to smash. Which two symbols should we pick to code Robot Blaze to run and lift? Great. That symbol will code Robot Blaze to run. That symbol will code Robot Blaze to lift. Great coding. Coding Robot Blaze to run and lift. Yeah! All right. Come on, AJ. 
time to save Axel City from those wrecking robots. Let's go for it! Robot power! Wait, watch out! Uh oh, that throwing robot is throwing two things this time. Help me code Blaze's arm to do two smashes. Which of these is two smashes? Yeah! That's a group of two! So our new code is Go! Smash! Smash! Stop! Go! Smash! Smash! Stop! Woohoo! Yeah! Look! The throwing robot is just up ahead! Blood nuts! He just threw four things! Which of these is four smashes? Yeah, that's it! Alright! So now our code is Go! Smash! 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 Stop! Go! There's only one robot left to find! The Blasting Robot! We can stop him because we've got... Robot Power! Look at the place! You the robot! Hubcaps! There he is! The Blasting Robot! Whoa! His blast is really powerful! Check it out! This robot sends a powerful blast from an opening in his belly. But if we can plug that opening, he won't be able to blast anymore. Which object will fit over the belly of the blasting robot? The wheel or the box? Yeah, the wheel. Awesome job. Thanks, little friend. Yeah. Pushing with a force of nine. And my force is five. Which is more, five or nine? Nine, yeah! The robot's blast has more force. Whoa. We need more force to get past the blasting robot. To give Blaze more force, let's give him blazing speed. Look, my force went up to ten, and the robot's blast is nine. Which is more, ten or nine? Ten. That means I've got more force. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right! We did it! Yeah. Oh, oh, you saved us! Way to go, Robot Blaze! You're a hero! Blaze! You just stopped three wrecking robots and saved Axel City! Is there anything you'd like to say? I guess I want to say that whenever there's trouble, I'll always be here to help. Uh-oh. How are we gonna get to the treehouse and bring the monkeys their pizza? I know how. We can use a simple machine. Yeah, simple machines make it easier to do work. Check it out. Here are all the different types of simple machines. To get to the monkeys, we can use this one, a pulley. Pulleys make lifting things easier. We just have to put heavy things on the other side of the pulley so that it goes down and Blaze goes up. Hey, look, here's a pulley. And we can use these coconuts to make the other side heavier. Come on, let's add enough coconuts to make the other side weigh 12. 
Is this the number 12? No? All right, let's add more coconuts. We've got to make the other side even heavier. Is that the number 12? Yeah, that's 12, all right. Now that side of the pulley's going down. And we're going up! Yeah! Pizza delivery! <laughs> Here you go. One large banana pizza. <laughs> I think they like it. Check it out. We delivered pizza to the monkeys in the jungle. So next we've got to race to the snow and bring pizza to the penguins. So long, monkeys! <laughs> Super Snowmaker's covering all the igloos with snow. Oh man, if we're gonna bring pizza to those penguins, we've gotta find some way to get through all the snow. Hey, I've got an idea. What if we built something to help us dig a tunnel through the snow? We'll make an auger. Yeah! Augers use a type of simple machine called a screw. When the screw turns, it moves stuff out of the way to make a tunnel. Come on, let's get building and turn me into an auger. First, drag over the motor. It's what makes the screw blade spin. Motor! Next, drag over the spring. It keeps the auger steady as we dig. Spring! Last, drag over the screw blade so we can dig the tunnel. Screw blade! Oh, yeah! I'm an auger monster machine! To get to their igloo, we could go up, down, left, or right. Click on the direction Blaze should travel in to get to the penguins. Up! Yeah! Here you go, penguins! A fresh, delicious ice pop pizza! <laughs> I think ice pop pizza's their favorite. Check it out! Now we've brought pizzas to the monkeys and the penguins. To win the great pizza race, we just have to deliver one last pizza. See you later, penguins. We've got a race to win. Blaze, so fast. I need something to stop him. Something like, like this. <laughs> Blaze, look out! Oh no! There goes our pizza! Baskets! It landed on top of that mountain! <laughs> See you at the finish line! <laughs> Come on! We've got to hurry and get that pizza back! I wonder what that rumbling sound is. Uh-oh, I think this mountain's erupting. Yeah, erupting giant balls of cheese. Oh! oh man, how are we gonna get our pizza back without getting flattened by a giant cheese ball? I know what we need. Something that can break those giant cheese balls apart. We need a wedge. Yeah! A wedge is a simple machine that makes it easier to split things apart. 
Come on, AJ, it's wedge time! Help us smash apart the cheese balls heading our way. When you see a cheese ball, let's click on it. Cheese, cheese ball! ball! If you see any more cheese balls, say cheese ball. Cheese ball! We got the pizza! And look, there's the finish line! Uh-oh, the crusher's almost there! We've only got one chance to deliver our last pizza before Crusher. It's time to use blazing speed. <laughs> to give me blazing speed, say, let's blaze. Let's, let's blaze. blaze. deliver their pizza before me. <laughs> Not even Blaze! <laughs> the winner of the Great Pizza Race is Blaze! Here you go, elephant. One large pizza with extra peanuts! <laughs> To compete in today's race, Sparkle needs three more badges. Let's help her get them. Hey, check it out, train tracks. If we want to go fast, we need to transform. Ooh, I know, we can be high speed train. Yeah. First, we need steel wheels. They let high speed trains ride on metal tracks. Steel wheels! Great! Now, let's add the locomotive engines. They give trains power to go really fast. Awesome! Locomotive engines! Last, let's add aerodynamic bodies. They make it so air doesn't slow the train down. Aerodynamic bodies! Train-tastic! Oh, yeah! For high-speed train! onto the tracks. Help us keep away from them. Which track has trash on it? The blue track, yeah! Quick, Sparkle, switch tracks! <laughs> Great job! Sparkle needs two more stickers to compete in the race. Yeah! Well, what are we waiting for? This way to the monster dome! I can't wait to get back to the big race and... Uh-oh, uh that's a lot of water. I wonder how we're gonna get across. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we ask them for help? Gaskets, those are whales. And check out how they blast air out of their blowholes. A blast like that could launch us across the water. Yeah. We just need to launch ourselves with the right trajectory. A trajectory is the path something follows when it moves through the air. Check it out. The red whale will launch Blaze with this trajectory. The green whale will launch Blaze with this trajectory. And the yellow whale will launch Blaze with this trajectory. Which one will get Blaze and Sparkle to that island? The red whale, yeah! at the other side. Whoa. Hiya, whales. We need your help one last time. 
Here are the trajectories. Which one will get them all the way to the shore? The green whale, yeah! Yeah! And look, Sparkle, your badge! It's another racing sticker! Wow! Congratulations, Sparkle! You just need one more! Then you can be in the big race! Hey, look! There's the Monster Dome! <laughs> We're almost there! Come on, Sparkle! Let's hurry and get to that race! Blaze and Sparkle are almost back. <laughs> yeah. Blaze and Sparkle are almost back! Ew, my customers! Oh, I've got to stop them. I need a sheet so big they'll never make it back. A builder bot! That builder bot's making a wall to try to stop us. I've got an idea. What if we go over the wall with this? A slingshot! Yeah! That's a great idea, Sparkle. We just need to launch ourselves with the right trajectory. Let's see. If we launch ourselves now, we will go through the air like this. Will that get us over the wall? No. Let's change our trajectory. Will this trajectory get us over the wall? Yeah! We've got the right trajectory! Yeah! We did it! Ooh, and look! There's the Monster Dome! Uh-oh, but the Builder Pod is trying to stop us with the biggest wall yet! Come on, Sparkle! It's slingshot time! Will this trajectory get us over the wall? Nope. Let's try again. Will this trajectory get us over the wall? Yes! Monster Dome, here we come! <laughs> oh, it can't be. Look, everybody! Woo it's Blaze and Sparkle! Just in time to race with us! Huh. Not me, though. I still need one more racing sticker. Hang on, Sparkle. Look! You're getting your last sticker! Ooh. Wow! <gasps> I did it! I got all my stickers! That means I can race! Yeah. On your marks! Get set! Go! I can't let Blaze and Sparkle get ahead of me! I want to win! <laughs> <laughs> oh, too bad. Looks like nobody can get to the finish line now. Except for me. <laughs> oh, man. We've got to find some way to get across. Ooh, I know. What if we go super fast and jump across? Yeah. Time to use blazing speed. <laughs> Give us blazing speed. Say, let's blaze! Let's
you can ask your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Blaze and the Monster Machines YouTube channel for new videos every week.